All right, so we are here at Cumberland Ford, dropping off uh, my old Mustang. Um, Jess is here. A uh, little bit sad because, like I was saying earlier, it's an end of an era that you know we've had this Mustang for three years, and now you know we're giving it back to Ford or uh, handing. Well, we're handing it back because um, you know. We, we have a new ride, um, but you know, hopefully it'll be as memorable as this car. But at the same time, um, it's a little bit sad that um, uh, we're getting rid of her. So yeah, so we'll see you in a bit. All right, as you can see, garage is empty. Only the Supra is there. Um, however, um, I'm going to show you something, and maybe if I can flip around the camera. No, I can't. Um, basically, that's the new ride. This is my 2019 Bullet. Um, basically, nice and stock. Um, sorry, I've got the battery pack because the camera is dying. Um, yeah, see, nice and stock. Um, and I think what we're going to do first of all is to probably swap out um, the rims because they're 19s they're really hard to get um, and I've got a set of 20s that will fit perfectly on this thing um, before I forget there's the number plate how cool is that Ooh. so yeah really stock um, quickly show you inside so I've already put in the rubber mats, but you can see that they're the um, special edition Recaros, which have the green stitching on them. Um, power Recaros, which is cool. Um, unlike the Shelby GT350 and 500s, which have the manual Recaros, but you know, I can't complain with that. Um, manual as well. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and yeah. She is stuck as a rock. But yeah, she looks amazing. Um, so yeah, so plans for this is basically, I'm pretty happy with the power at the moment um, because this is, um, well, basically the GT350 intake and also the, um, the throttle body. Uh, throttle body? Oh yeah. Um, Uh, the only thing this will probably need is I've got an X pipe coming in a little bit later, um, and also uh, I'm still considering whether or not to get headers for this because the thing is like with the right hand drive, hand, ugh, yeah, the right hand side conversions. Basically, the the headers that came on these things um, weren't well made, and where you lose a lot of power um, at the top so I'll just open up the, the hood and you can check out the engine so for those guys who may have a bullet um, overseas like a left-hand drive one you're probably familiar with this but the thing that comes missing in these cars oh, sorry I'm gonna put this camera down so the thing that's missing in these cars is that it doesn't come with the strut tower that usually goes over there and it's usually bullet branded. You can get them um, from um, a couple of shops uh, down south, but it's a little bit annoying that um, the Australian delivered ones don't come with the strut tower. Um, but other than that, you can see that there's hardly any uh, engine covers or whatnot. It is simply amazing to look at um hearkening back to a time when engine covers weren't a thing ah, well yeah so i've got the light here so you can actually see and basically it just makes it so much easier to just to work on the car when there's no engine covers to faff around with um, i think the air intake there needs to be a bit of a clean uh, we also have a 
a catch can that will probably go there um, and a few other goodies so um, I think the other thing that we're looking at is probably um, getting sharpening a lot of the handling so getting rid of a lot of the wheel hop or whatnot so yeah so that's my bullet um, that's what replaced my um, 2017 EcoBoost convertible Mustang um, <laughs> good old Rio be late but it is one hell of a car especially when we were driving it around just before especially picking up from the dealer and uh or whatnot um i believe this already has a ceramic coat um i'll give it a bit of a wash a little bit later but um this has just been driven in the light rain that we've had just been having and you can see that there's some watermarks there or whatnot but it's just beautiful let's see the brembos they come standard in these things on the EcoBoost, I actually had to get um, get ones from um, down south, and they, they were okay to fit, but you know, just ordering them or whatnot, it's just a bit of a hassle. So, yeah, oh, I didn't close the thing properly. Idiot me. Okay, so yeah, that, that's my Eco, uh, not EcoBoost, my bullets. Much excitement. Um, I think my friend Nick is coming in a few minutes and we'll get started on doing the first set of mods on these things, which will probably be the wheels. I'll catch you in a bit. or whatnot but other than that she's still pretty stock outside um, I'm just about to load up the car for tomorrow uh, if we're gonna whoops. yeah if we're gonna do some additional changes to the car more more the safety and longevity type of stuff so um, a oil catch can uh, just a couple of things here and there I'll probably go through it when I'm, I'm there um, and also next week we'll get the Harrop oil cooler installed in uh, I'm not too sure if I showed this last time but we also have the end gauge installed uh, mostly for diagnostic purposes but there she is she's mounted in the slowly loading uh, she's mounted in the centered uh, dash um, so yeah so this is pretty cool I've, I'm keeping it nice and clean uh, as you can see especially you know there's not much that I need to do on this car but I probably when I close the door it's gonna beep at me uh, but yeah so there's some stuff that we need to put in oh also x we're gonna get the x pipe installed um but we'll just load up the boot with the stuff that's there all right so next up is we are installing the updated sync software via cyan labs um, it was pretty easy it's all just basically it takes one usb then you download the app onto your windows laptop or PC and you just install it in uh, well you load it up onto the USB card and then you just plug in the USB card and turn it on so we'll see how this goes um, it's saying that there's a couple of minutes left maybe I don't know um, but we'll see how this goes all right speak in a bit
Okay, so it's been a week. Well, maybe two weeks actually. Yeah, a week. Yeah, a week. It feels like a week. It's actually a week. Um, so since I shot that last segment from this video, um, unfortunately I've got some bad news. So what's happened is that it looks as though that the bullet had some engine issues. It might be due to some oil starvation or whatnot quite possibly because there wasn't any oil uh, just a little tiny bit at the end of the dipstick when we inspected it and it decided to just grenade itself just looking at my hair not looking that great um, and yeah so unfortunately it's gone under warranty repair and so yeah so now it's back at the dealer um, and it's hopefully getting fixed up by Ford so at the moment Ford has given me this it's a 2019-2020 Ford Ranger Wildtrak uh, see it's got the Wildtrak logo there and also it's a 3.2 litre uh, turbo diesel Sorry, that was a quick chat with the neighbor. Um, so, yeah, so this is, so this is the for wild track. As you can see, nice and spacious or whatnot. I might do a quick review on this, uh, probably this week. Uh, we did take it up to uh, basically uh, Threadbow, even though it's in summer, like they had the downhill bites there or whatnot, but it's been a great car. Um, but just an update on the bullet, just to get back to the original issue. Uh, like I said, it, the engine just basically blew up and um, not the fault of my own uh, with the changes that I made, which is basically wheels. Um, the oil cooler wasn't even put in because that morning that I was going to take it out, um, well, basically, the morning that I was going to get it installed was the fact that my mechanic was also having a look at the car just to make sure everything was okay. And like I was saying earlier, was that it didn't have any oil. <laughs> so we'll get that sorted out. Um, it just means that any bullet content will probably be a few weeks since Ford Australia is organizing a new engine and it'll be installed into the car um, in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, so that's a bit of a shitty update. I know that this is probably the second video on the bullet, but you know, I just wanted to update you guys because you know, there won't be any um, updates on the car for a few weeks, but yeah, it happens. But at least, you know, Ford Australia is sorting out. Anyway, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace out.